truth is stranger than fiction. This is the proof. This is Ripley. Believe it or not. <laughs> Belfazer Nussbaumer, an Austrian mountain climber, hurtled 1,000 feet down Mount Grossbenediger when a rope broke. Yet he walked away unharmed, believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about a custom which would be very unpopular in America. The Bills, an aboriginal tribe inhabiting a wild and hilly country in central India, have a very unpopular custom indeed, at least to most of the world. On the day when a couple are married, the bride places a fragrant leaf between her lips. The husband reduces the leaf with his teeth, bite by bite, until their lips meet. Sound romantic? Not so at all. It's the only kiss they're allowed for the rest of their married lives. Believe it or not. Truth is stranger than fiction. This is the proof. This is Ripley. Believe it or not. Married men in the Akela tribe in Africa always cut their meat into small chunks with a knife held between their toes because before their wedding, they were required to knock out all their own teeth. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about the man who bit a crocodile. There have been many stories told about an instance when a man bites a dog. However, I don't think you'll hear many about a man who bites a crocodile. When this man named Hanuk was seized by a huge crocodile while swimming in the Kafu River in northern Rhodesia, he decided to bite back. He clamped his teeth on the tip of the reptile's tail, forcing the crocodile to release him and retreat into deep water. Although Hanuk himself had been severely bitten, he recovered in the hospital at Lusaka. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. This is the proof. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. The Church of St. Peter in Montgomery, England, still has some of the glass panes that were installed in the year 674, the first glass ever manufactured in England. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you how an emperor really got into hot water. Because they would not pay homage to the great Emperor Maximilian, two men, St. Crispin and St. Crispinian, the patron saints of cobblers, were ordered to be boiled alive in a huge cauldron of water. His orders were carried out, but after some time in the water, both of the condemned men were still alive, apparently unscathed. This so infuriated the Emperor that he jumped into the boiling water to kill the men himself. He was immediately scalded to death. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. This is the proof. This is Ripley. Believe it or not. Thomas Schweiker of Schwäbisch Hall, Germany, was born without arms and with a body so crippled he could neither sit erect nor stand. Yet he excelled in beautiful penmanship while holding the quill in his toes. Believe it or not. In a moment I'll tell you an unusual story about fire worshippers. Through the ages, man has found many ways to pay homage to the gods or god in which he believes. The Parihara, or Panda caste of India, are literally the most ardent worshippers among India's teeming millions. They adore a deity named Bilat. By dipping a strand of cotton in flaming oil and retaining the burning twist in their mouths until the wick is consumed, they commemorate an ancestral purifying rite undergone in a pit of fire. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. This is the proof. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. The French have a word which contradicts itself. Crevant is a French word which means both screamingly funny and deadly dull. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about the white pigeons who are deadly jealous. May pure white pigeons always nest in the beams of your house. This was the traditional blessing of Ali ben Abu Talib, the son-in-law and successor of the Prophet Muhammad. Shortly after Ali's death, 
thousands of pure white pigeons took up their abode in the vicinity of his grave and have been there ever since. The pigeons rigorously police the precincts of the mosque. Should a pigeon with a single black feather attempt to join the flock, the white pigeons drive it away. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the truth. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. In the Olemba tribe in Africa, the prospective bridegroom must pay for his wife in an odd way. There, the standard price of a wife is four native dogs. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about a very unusual coincidence in a man's life. If I died this hour, I should die happy. Thus spoke John Liston, the celebrated English comedian, on Sunday, March 22nd in 1807 at 10.30 a.m. At the time he said it, he was being married in the church of St. Martin's in the Field. By a striking coincidence, 39 years later, as the clock struck 10.30 a.m. on Sunday, March 22nd, 1846, Liston died in his wife's arms. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the truth. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. If all the diamonds in the world, mined from the beginning of the industry, could be fused into a single gem, they would form only a seven and one half foot cube. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about a temple that's a huge lollipop. The sanctuary of Katra Madriganj in the state of Patabgar, Rashputan, India, was erected over a gushing spring. The water is so richly saturated with sugar that it's possible to distill thick molasses from it by boiling. The saccharine spring overflows at regular intervals and drenches the temple with a sugary flood. As a result, the edifice is always thickly encrusted with sugar, and the walls of the temple are eagerly licked by sweet, starved children. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the truth. This is Ripley. Believe it or not. The Jaya of Singapore, to celebrate each birthday, hangs another lemon, the symbol of the Hindu god Subramanya, on hooks embedded in his skin. Yet the wounds never bleed. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you about a colonel's strange wound. Colonel James Gardiner of Scotland received a strange wound in the Battle of Romilly's on May 23, 1706. While shouting commands, he had a bullet pass through his open mouth without injuring his teeth, his tongue, gums, or palate. In fact, it virtually did no damage at all. The slug passed out the back of his neck, leaving a hole that remained open until he died. The colonel died of other wounds in the Battle of Prestopans 39 years later. Believe it or not. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. And this is the truth. This is Ripley's. Believe it or not. There is a bell in the Lamasari of Parala in Lhasa, the most sacred sanctuary of Tibet. And it's inscribed with the first words of the Christian hymn, Te Deum Laudamus. Believe it or not. In a moment, I'll tell you the macabre story of the silent groom. Dorothy Ford was betrothed to the Reverend William Street, rector of the parish of Southpool, England. Her fiancé died a few days before their wedding. At the urging of friends, who said they'd been visited by the Reverend Spectre, which complained his soul could not rest while his pledge to marry was unredeemed, the coffin containing the rector's body was brought to the local church. There, in a public marriage ceremony, Dorothy Ford was married to her dead lover. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. 